I want to walk you through the essential concepts of the TPO chart and illustrate the process of creating it. Each candle is represented by squares or rectangles in different color. These rectangles are drawn from the candle's highest point to its lowest. Now imagine an Atas expert coming with a huge magnet. Squares are set in motion, create a stack and try to occupy free space. When a cluster of yellow rectangles approached, some stayed on the top while others filled in the vacant spaces. The same is just happening with the green group. The pastel blue rectangles fragment into five distinct parts. This process unfolds notably in the group of red and green rectangles. Thanks to its entirely different display system, we easily spot special patterns on the profile that are not visible on the candlestick chart. Unfinished business is like a double top or double bottom. The POC is where the price spent the most time that day. A ledge acts like an edge and is strong support or resistance. Singles are places the price has moved through and may come back to. The buying tail signals a clear rejection and a hesitance to trade in those areas. The value area indicates the region where most trades occurred, bordered by the value area high at the top and the value area low at the bottom. Alongside the POC, these are the key levels. Remember to hit the like button if you found this video enjoyable. Also, consider subscribing to our channel to stay updated on our latest content. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you for watching.